What's good with it, YouTube? It's Coffee. Tapping back in, man, with some breaking news. We got some breaking hip hop news. Gonna jump right into it, man. It's going crazy right now, man. Um, but first, we're talking about Wack 100. Got a bit of an update with him. We know Wack is on some, like, it's wild because we're gonna get into some G Unit ish. And y'all remember 50 Cent's Before I Self Destruct album? That's what's going on with Wack right now. He's in self destruction mode. I'm mad as fuck. I had a video up over on my other channel, man. The Carfi got the keys platform. Make sure y'all are subbed up over there as well. And we covered a lot of ish, man. The locks, you know, uh, with uh, Suge Knight and all that. All kinds of topics on there. But we had an update in the end regarding WAC 100 where I broke down some exclusive ish dating back a few years, man. But um, comment and let me know if y'all seen that one. I'm trying to get the video back up. But anyways... As Wack has become the laughing stock of the internet ever since his whole leaked motel video, man. This guy's a straight goofball. We done known it for the longest time, Billy Joel voice, and he's desperate. You know what I mean? He's he's going back in trying to talk ish about Spider Loke and, and just telling a total fraudulent story, putting changes on it. You know how Wack does, man. He just full of ish. He's a, he's, he's a liar. You know what I mean? But um, and you know, get, trying to go at Big U. He's trying to go at everyone right now to divert the attention off his goofiness. You know what I mean? The crater face leprechaun strikes again. But now peep this message he threw up. He says, when you play your play out, you've been played. Lesson learned. Trying to be all cryptic, whatever. Like, what do y'all make it at, man? You know, at the end of the day, whack, no one gives a fuck. You've been out here moving like a goofball, trying to play dirty, dirty politician games and ish for the longest time. And you 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 just really bit been put on blast for the the goofball that you are. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. I just I just wanted to throw this up and see what y'all make of it. I, I think it's just funny, you know, he's still grasping at straws trying to play games. Whack, no one cares, man. You pretty much done. You up out of here. And um at the end of the day, guys, real talk. Comment and let me know if y'all agree with this. But I feel like um the way he's looking even more funny style as of late, right? Um, the one thing about Wack that kept him in good standing with a lot of people was his plugs within the industry. But I think all this going on now, the way he's the goofiest goofball, goofy goober you done ever seen, that's going to hurt his bottom line when it comes to business. Like a lot of people is going to be backing off from Wack 100. So just, uh, you know, stay focused and pay attention, guys. We're going to see a lot more fluckery going with him. You know what I mean? Uh, going on with him, he's going to be doing all kinds of goofy ish to try to divert the attention away from him. But um, it's all bad. I really believe this is the beginning of the end of whack. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I was on the island. I had to deal with issues. You not you understand? I wasn't in PC. No, niggas are real niggas. Understand? James on the West Coast. That's his shit. We had to deal with Jimmy Henchman. And think about it. If you a West Coast nigga. Mm -hmm. Why would you let a nigga that has something to do with pop? The nigga, you probably, do we got tattooed on his body? Probably so. Why would you fuck with Jimmy Henchman? Niggas are mad because I'm a real nigga and I keep it real. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit, homie. Because at the end of the day, when niggas ain't here, I'm going to let niggas know what's real and what's not. I don't give a fuck about these industry niggas. It's fake. It's all fake. Niggas don't like each other. I've been around it for years. G-Unit is the it's bad the guys in hip-hop. So why do I give a fuck? It's but I don't want to keep talking shit. about a nigga like... Yo, no, nigga, no, 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 no. Did a nigga, yo, suck my dick, no, yo, no, no. and yo, fuck your moms, and yeah, yo. like, I'm not with yeah, all that, because no, no, somebody no, no. gonna die. Y'all, so that's the other story that I was talking about that's just setting the internet ablaze right now. Tony Ayo doing this exclusive interview over there um, with uh, Math Hoffa, and again, Math Hoffa's channel is just lit. Like, he has some of the dopest content coming out, some of the dopest interviews. Real talk, guys. Comment. Let me know what you think's been the best interview you've seen over there um, on, on, on Math Hoffa's platform. And, and they get to the exclusive-ish. You know what I mean? Like, you see right here uh, with Yayo, man, like, this this ish is crazy. Um, you hear him going off, uh, uh, speaking about a lot, and you can tell this is some real ish. This ain't no hip-hop headlines. Like, you heard him 
talking about oh it's the industry ish i'm not with all that fuck all that you know this rapper don't like that rapper we get it wwe type ish and i'm a wwe fan y'all no question but the point that i'm trying to get at is a lot of that ish we see is just rappers trying to gain momentum in the blogosphere going at each other but yayo's talking about real deal ish you know what i mean like a lot of wild ish happened behind this stuff with yayo like he, he's done had his his vehicle shot up his people's crib shot up we know he he did time behind that wall um and you hear him bringing up the game okay now we know the game is funny here we are again whack 100 in the first half of this video right like we know the game and whack the, the, the games that they play, a lot of the fluckery we saw going on leading up, leading up to the Drillmatic album, it was an all bad look, things got flucked up, Wax out here playing these funny style games, hurting his artists at the end of the day game, but one of the things that we saw play out, you know, we've been over all that Drillmatic-ish on this channel in numerous videos, but one of the things that we did see play out was the game in uh, 50 Cent, who, at, like, ended up squashing their issue right we know that that happened finally after all these years of the game dissing let's make up dissing let's make up and you know finally we actually saw them squash their issue well while the drillmatic promo was going on you know the the um the drink champs interview is what really kicked things off we saw a game start taking shots at 50 again you know referring back to the beef etc and um now they're on some you know, they're not cool no more. But when you hear Yayo going off here, speaking of the game and his issues with him, and he's talking about the game, be talking about Yayo, my as my D and all that ish and everything else. And you can tell it's no games with Yayo. We know um, he, he was directly tied in with that situation with Lodi Mac, you know, rest in peace to him um, who, you know, lost his life between this beef with uh, Jimmy Henchman. And originally, when uh, this whole situation played out with um, the game and 50 Cent, like when when game and, and Banks bumped into each other in Dubai and they took that picture, um, originally, you know, 50 Cent spoke out about this and he was not happy at all. Call, um, you know, game put the picture up. Oh, I bumped into Banks and et cetera, et cetera. It's all this that fifth put up a caption and said what do you see when you look at this picture i see confusion i'm not sure if it's just me i'm a cancer ish don't get old with me i never asked for trouble but i don't really have a problem with it i'm different the question isn't how i feel about it but how does Lodi mac feel about it some ish is just better off left alone and real talk that's you know lives were lost behind this beef you know what I mean? We know the, the shooting situation happened at, uh, what was it, Hot 9-7 or whatever. But we know down the road um, with the whole ish with, you know, um, Yayo, um, Lodi Mac and, you know, uh, reportedly or um, I guess I guess we don't even have to say reportedly. Um, it's a wild situation, but Lodi Mac was conv uh, convicted or took some kind of plea. They said he slapped. Um, Jimmy Henchman's son and uh, later you know when Jimmy Henchman went down for numerous charges doing life right um, he was convicted of ordering the death of Lodi Mac among many other things and then you hear him bring up Tupac and he's like yo game he's from the west coast he's got a tad of Pac on him which he's like he probably does you know what I mean because game got a million different portraits of you know everyone from Mike Tyson Michael Jordan Tupac, Biggie, the, the the list goes on. He's like, he got a tad of Pac on him. And then he's going to have, you know, have a relationship with Jimmy Henchman, who was, you know, a, a nemesis of Tupac. So you just see uh, Yayo going in about this. Like this, this was some real ish where, um, you know, some of these hip hop beefs we know go beyond just on wax. And when you talk about game and G unit, and then, you know, not necessarily between them necessarily things got wild but with the inclusion of jimmy henchman and games association affiliation with jimmy henchman we know things get deep there's bloodshed you know we see 50 cent all the time still on social media always talking about jimmy the rat jimmy henchman you know um so it's wild you just see 
things really, really got serious and Yale going off about it. I haven't tapped into the full interview yet. For those that have, uh, jump in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about it. But uh, there's also been a lot of talk over the years that with the whole game G-Unit beef, you know, a lot of people feel like Jimmy Henchman kind of was behind it, you know, that he gassed game up, that he got in game's ear talking about game. You're bigger than them, you know, like boosted his ego. You're bigger than fifth. You're bigger than G-Unit. You know what I mean? You you need to be on your own and kind of gas game up to kick that beef off. Uh, others have theorized that game, you know, had this plan from day one. You know what I mean? To, to get his music out and benefit off the shady G-Unit Aftermath Interscope Umbrella Dr. Dre production and things of that nature and get his foot in the door and blow up that way and then you know, start this and I don't know, you know, like it w did Jimmy Henchman play a part in that? Did he not? I don't know, but it's it's just wild, man. Like you can really tell this is no games uh, with Yayo. And um, I don't know, you know, it's it, it, it's just wild, you know, so tap in, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Of all that Jimmy Henchman, Tupac, Yayo, fifth the game. Uh, let's break it all down. Get up in the comments. And uh, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, stay tuned. More content coming. As always, it's Jay Coffee Talk, where we're talking music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. Always want to hear from y'all, the people. Uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.